Okay, we're gonna look at theoretical probability specifically and an or, okay? We're gonna be looking at cards, okay? So we're assuming 52 cards, okay? 13 in each suit, so four suits. Let's look at drawing a single card, okay? We pull out a single card out of the deck. So what is the probability of that, of that being a spade? Well, how many spades are there? There's 13 spades. So we're going to have 13 out of 52. Okay. And then we'll go and put that in. And on our calculator, 13 out of 52 is 0 0.25. Okay. So the probability of it being a spade is 0 0.25. Probability of there being a picture card. Okay, well a picture card is like a jack, a queen, and a king. Okay, and there's hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. There's four lots of them, so that makes 12 all up. 12 out of 52 is 0 0.23. Okay, Pro probability of an ace or a black card, okay? This is where we start getting or. So if I were to pull out a card, okay, it could be an ace or a black card. Well, logically that makes the probability higher than either than just one of them because I've got two options here, okay? So I could pull out an ace, okay? Or it could be a black card. So I'll put them in, okay? So how many aces? There's four aces, okay? Or is plus black cards. There's 13, okay? Oh, sorry, 26, because there's, um, there's spades, and there's, where's my clubs? And there's clubs as well. Okay, so there's 26 black cards out of 52. Now, here's the thing though. We've got aces, we've got black cards, but there's two cards that actually satisfy both of those. Okay, there's the ace of spades, which is a black ace, and then the ace of clubs, which is somewhere in here, I haven't got it. So to avoid counting them twice, we have to take them away. Okay, so that they'll only be in one group, not both groups. Okay, so there's two cards that satisfy both. So we do that. Okay, that makes that um, 4 on 52 plus 36 on 52, take 2 on 52, 7 over 13, which is, okay, 0 0.54. Okay. Probability of two, uh, two, or that's an or, two or the jack of clubs. Okay, so how many twos? There's four twos out of fifty-two. Or means plus, and how many jacks of clubs are there? One. Okay, four of fifty-two. Plus one on 52, it's five on 52, which is 0 0.096. Okay. Next up, drawing two cards now. Okay, so I'm going to draw a card and it says with replacement. So I'll take a look at this card and then I'll put it back. So replacing and then take out another card. Okay, and the key is thinking about it like that. Okay, draw out a card, put it back, and then take out another card. See the word and? Okay, so here we've got or, this is and. Okay, so we've got drawing two cards. Probability of two spades. So I draw out a spade. Okay, we've got one here. So take out a spade. The probability of it being a spade is 
13 out of 52. Okay, put it back and then draw out another spade. Okay, well, that is and, which is actually times. Okay, drawing out another spade. So if I did that, um, so ah, I did the f I did a plus uh, times. That's better. Okay, zero point zero six two five. Okay, so the way to make sense of it is that when you have an or, okay, you could pull out an ace or a black card and you fulfill the success. So you've got this chance and plus this chance of being successful. Whereas to be successful for drawing two spades, okay, that's, you have to have drawn out a spade, put it back and draw out another spade. Now the chance of that happening is decreased, okay? And that's what happens when you multiply by a fraction is that you're actually multiplying this by a smaller fraction. So you're making your number smaller, okay? So another way of thinking of it is, okay, they're opposites. What you, they're opposite to what you would normally think. And you would think is plus, but it's not. It's times and or is plus, okay? So let's take a look at this one. Probability of two threes. So I draw out a three and yep, put it back. And then the next card that I pull out is another three. Okay, so how many threes are there? There's four. Okay, and then the next card I do is another three. Okay, using this guy. 52 times 4, 52 is, whoa, okay, we can, you can, okay, now look what happened. This is 1 on 169, and if you press that button, it tries to represent it as um, scientific notation. If, you come, if you're not comfortable, you can just put the fraction, okay. This just means that decimal point has moved three places that way. Okay, to the negative, to the smaller side. So it's going to be 0 0.12, there's going to be two zeros in front. 0, 0, 0.059. Okay. Now, this one here, probability of a 4 and a picture card or an 8. Okay, so it might be handy to actually think of this in terms of a 4 and a picture card or an 8. So the first card is a four, so we know there's going to be four out of 52 of them, okay? And, which is times, a picture card or an eight. So the second card that you pick could be a picture card or an eight, okay? So that could be, there's 12 picture cards, or an eight, there's four of them, okay? That's how you would think about it. So, let's go and check that in. 452 times 1252 plus 452 is 0 0.024. Okay. Now, I'm just going to slide down a little bit. Sorry if you get seasick. Last one. Drawing two cards where order doesn't matter. Okay, and see how I've um, highlighted that word order. Okay, let's make it even more obvious. Order doesn't matter. Okay. Probability of an ace and a picture card. Okay, well in these ones here, we said that, okay, this is that the probability of a four is the first card and then this one. Okay. Well, in this one, where order doesn't matter, your first card could be an ace, and then your second card a picture card, or your first card could be picture card, and then your second card an ace, 
okay? So it's actually valid both ways. So we just write it down as both ways, with an this and this, or this and this. So let's write it down, we've got four out of 52. Okay, I'll put a bracket actually. So there's four aces and a picture card, and it's times. Okay, or I could do it the other way. Remember, or is plus. Okay, or it could be the other way. Picture card first, a second. Okay, go ahead and do that. Four on fifty-two. I've done this uh, times whoop, twelve on fifty-two. Bracket or plus twelve on fifty-two times four on fifty-two is zero point. Zero three five five. Okay. So that is theoretical probability. I'll just move this back up to sum up. Okay. If you've got picking out a card and then another card, it's times. Okay. Drawing two cards. If it's drawing a single card, okay. You can have ors. Just remember to check and see if there's a card that fits both of them. And if order doesn't matter, then you do it both ways with an or in the middle.